Hello family, hope you're doing great. So as you know by the title of this video, I'm gonna be talking about my process in decluttering my house. So this came about because I'm moving out of my house. So I thought, well, I don't wanna leave like a storage in my parents' home. And I've been wanting to declutter for a while. So I said, okay, why not just start now? The intention of this video is not to brag about all the material possessions that I have. These have things that have been accumulated over many years, 10, 15 years. And also it's not to brag about things that I've donated because I did donate most of these things and the expensive things I am selling at the moment. Okay guys, so here are all the shoes that I'm gonna be selling. They're all just like heels that I've had for years and years and years and that I don't even use. So yeah, and they're not vegan. So yeah, they're definitely out. I would really love for the comment section to be one of love and support because I know that so many of you have gone through this, through decluttering, through minimalism. There are so many benefits to living with less and not only physically, like we feel better physically, but mentally as well. And I've definitely felt so many benefits not only from living with less but from just letting go of material things so in the next footage you will see all of my decluttering process that occurred in my closet so as I said these are things that have been accumulated over many many years and for me this has always been like my little thing hey guys so we have all of the things here I have my aunt helping me the way that we're doing it is that in one pile I'm putting everything that I used this year and in another pile I'm putting everything that I haven't used for one year or more, okay? Let's do this, shall we? Like a half an hour ago I was feeling really overwhelmed, she saw me. I was crying. <laughs> she, I was I was coming in the house and I was crying. And I feel and she's sorry like, for yeah, her. she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, I just feel so overwhelmed. There's so many things <laughs> that I need to get rid of, and I've been putting this off for so long. I've seriously been putting this off for a long time. Some people they go to food to numb their feelings. Well, I was the kind of person that I would go shopping to numb my feelings. Whenever I felt a little anxious or felt sad or depressed, I would go shopping. This compulsive shopping was something that I became conscious and aware of a couple years ago when I knew, like I would be shopping compulsively and I knew that it was because I was feeling something that I didn't wanna feel, but I didn't wanna deal with it at the problem. So I would just keep on doing it, you know? And I came up this year 2018 for me has been one of like so many changes where I've just been like you know what I'm just gonna change like I can't just say to myself like oh well that's just the way I am that I'm you know that's me no I mean I have the capacity to be the person that I want to be so I listened to the audiobook by Con Marie the name of the book is the life-changing magic of tidying up it's literally changed my life so I use the Con Marie method to to declutter my house, which I absolutely loved. So, okay, for my closet, I took out everything from it, and it wasn't until I saw everything laid out that I was literally shocked. I was like, this is not possible. Like, I was just so disappointed with myself, and at the same time, I was at the same time I was frustrated, but it really motivated me because I was like, you know what? I just want to take out everything. I want to take out absolutely everything. So I took out about 80% of the things in my closet and I donated it. And it felt so good to just let go of all these material things. And I gave it to uh, these girls that have been abused in a house in Mexico. Hey guys, I'm in Tijuana right now and we're going to go donate all the things that I took out. The bags, here they are. And we're going to go to two shelters of women that are coming in from all parts of Mexico um, of all ages. So it's going to be really nice. So the steps to minimalism, what are they? Number one is declutter. Take out all of the things in your closet that you don't need, that you're not going to use, and give them to someone who will actually get a better use of them. Number two is donate. 
donate. That was number two. Number one is declutter. Number two is donate. And number three is declutter some more. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, that's actually what I'm going to be doing. But um, number three, my number three is going to be not buying anything for three months. That's the first step. If I can make it to three months, I'm going to bust it up to five months. And yeah, that's how it's going to be. Hey guys, so we're all here. We're going to we're going to two refugees, um, so let's do this. And it was just so nice to know that these clothes will be used by someone who actually needs them because more than half of them I didn't even use. I mean, I still have tons of clothes, too many things, and I'm still working on decluttering. I'm still going through that process, but every time I have like less and less, it just becomes a bit harder. But I'm not saying that to myself. I'm saying like, I will do this. So every time I get a chance, I take out and I declutter some more. Right now, I'm actually using a capsule wardrobe. So if you guys wanna see a video about that, let me know in the comments below. I also watched a documentary called The Minimalists, and minimalism is basically living with the essentials with the basics, with just the things that you need. It really inspired me as well. I really recommend that you guys watch it. And another person that has really inspired me into minimalism has been Elise from the channel Raw Alignment. She lives a minimalist life and that's that's really my goal and I'm working on it. And if you guys uh, are minimalist or you guys practice have practiced the KonMari method, please let me know also in the comments below. I would love to know your experience with it. Every day I feel just like more comfortable with just letting go of like all these clothes and material possessions and I want to just find a way to work my wardrobe around like rotating it every three months like the 333 method I've been reading about that I've been watching so many minimalist videos like more than ever I've always watched minimalist videos like they've always inspired me but right now I'm like watching them more and more and more so I'm super grateful for that I can't say that I'm gonna go minimalist right now I would love to you know be able to be a minimalist that would be amazing so <laughs> that's the update right now I'm gonna go through all of the piles again Been a day and a half and I stopped the decluttering because I went to LA and uh, yeah now we're back here I've been watching a lot of minimalist videos here on YouTube and like I see minimalist people and I admire them I'm like oh my gosh how can they do that like how can they live like that because I've come to realize that I put a lot of my self-worth on what I'm wearing on you know, I think about my videos like, oh my gosh, how am I going to have like the same thing on on all my videos? Like, seriously, it doesn't really matter what you're wearing or like for pictures for Instagram. Like, how am I going to wear like the exact same thing on every single picture? But I know that you guys don't come to this channel to see what I'm wearing. You guys come for the information that I give you. I also decluttered my kitchen. So I took out everything out of the kitchen and I decluttered a bunch of things at the moment. Things are in storage because since I'm like in the process of moving, I don't have a place, like a stable place where I'm gonna live. I don't know how many of the kitchen things I will actually need, so I'm waiting up on that. And I also decluttered my office. I decluttered like technology, even pictures. So a lot of pictures are now into hard drives and I've, de and I've taken out a lot of like <laughs> little like notes that I kept and just like so many birthday cards that I really don't need, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it honestly feels so nice to just have less, to feel lighter, to be able to move easier because at some point like moving like became like this huge deal because of all the things that I had to move and honestly I, I don't want to be kept from things from material things so this is it this has basically been my experience I have this challenge with myself where I'm not gonna buy anything first I said I'm not, I wasn't gonna buy anything for three months so I made this challenge with myself first I said three months I wasn't gonna buy absolutely anything from like clothes or shoes but 
I've made it to five months. So for five months, I'm not gonna buy absolutely anything uh, for clothes and shoes. And if I can, I will keep on going for even more time and keep on decluttering even more. And it's not like you can't shop for anything anymore. It's just buying with a purpose. Like if you're gonna buy something, you're gonna actually use it. And also like for me, I would put my value, my self-worth a lot on things. Like if I was like back in the day when I would wear like a Chanel bag or designer shoes, I would feel like a better person, you know, more important or look at me like it's a status as well, you know? And now I took out absolutely everything that is not vegan, everything that is leather is out. It's completely out. So I'm so happy that I was finally able to do it. It took me so many years after being vegan. I know I just I didn't even use those things. They were in the closet the whole time. But now I'm just, you know, I'm so ready to just like let them go. And yeah, that's basically it. If you guys want to see more videos regarding this topic, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell if you have not subscribed. I upload videos every single week. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye!